Yeah, hello and welcome. I'm Matthias from marmoworld.com and in this tutorial I show you how to create the following clip in After Effects. As you can see there is some tracking involved, so we are going to track the background in order to insert this image and the texts. And the one thing I in particular want to explain you here is how you change the tracking region with Mask Tracker Plus, since you can see here that the entire wall leaves the screen, so to speak. So let's see how we're going to do this. In After Effects I start with a composition that only contains the background clip. Now to track this background I first create a mask and since I essentially want to track the entire wall in the background I just double click on the rectangular tool to create a mask that covers the entire composition. Now I right click on the mask and say track mask and in the mask tracker I choose in this case to track position scale and rotation and start my track. Now you can see that the track slowly leaves the frame and before it completely left I just stop the track and now I cannot take this mask and move it to another point because then the mask tracker would think that the track jumped from this position to the new position that we drag it to. What we do instead is we make sure that only the layer is selected and double click here again to create a new mask. So this means we stop tracking the first mask and instead continue tracking a second mask with a new tracking region. Now I again click here to track it and again before it leaves the screen I stop and start in this case with a third mask. The different masks can also overlap so I can for example go a step back again create a third mask and track this one. Now I also choose all masks and say none because we only need the masks here for the tracking and select all of them simultaneously and click on the load function of Mask Tracker Plus. Now Mask Tracker Plus says loaded data from multiple masks. What this means is that in this area where we tracked the first mask, the track is taking the movement from this mask. Now in this region it takes the track from the second mask in this ma uh, region it considers both the track from the second and the third and here it only considers the third mask. Now we can create our texts, place it where it should be and choose the move function of Mask Tracker Plus and with the text selected click on apply. You can see that the title now mo nicely moves out of frame. Now I create our second text again move it where it should be and now I could use the move function again but what I do instead to keep my project clean is to use the same now that was created for my first move and just parent the second text also to it. Now you can see both texts nicely move with the same track. You can even also use the same track for a corner pin. Let's do this for our image. So I go to the project bring in the image that I want to use and in Mask Tracker Plus I select the image layer and choose the corner pin function and click apply. Now I choose the corner pin function that I want and now before I click OK here because this will apply my tracking data I place the corner pin where it should be. Currently the corner pin is not visible and this is because it is here below our composition because this is where the track started. Now usually you find your corner pin at the region where you started your track. So we can simply move it up where we need it and place it where we want it to be. And so far you can see that no tracking data is applied yet so it is not moving with the track. But now once we are happy with the placement we just click here on OK and now the same tracking data is also applied to our corner pin. Yeah, that's it already for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and you got an idea how easy it is with Mask Tracker Plus to change the tracking region over time in order to also track stuff that entirely leaves the frame. Again, I'm Matthias for marmoworld.com and I'm looking forward to see you again in the next tutorial.